Hey, how's it going and welcome back. And in this video, we'll be looking at the brand new Creation Club mod, the Netched Leather Armour. I'm Ted Yogi, and I'll be looking in detail at the first class light armour set offered by Creation Club, so you get an idea whether it's worth your hard cash or not. If you want to see more reviews and game tips like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Now, for your info, you also get an additional unique item with this mod, so I will be doing a separate short video on, on it, so be sure to catch that. Now, the Netch Leather is a creation that adds five variants of Netch Leather Armour, four of them craftable and one unique, all for the princely sum of 600 credits, which is around six of your American dollars, or approximately five of Lizzie's most majestic and mighty pounds. The creation quest was created by Chris Takahashi. I don't have any info on the mod author, so if you know, please comment below so they can get the credit they deserve. And okay, as usual, we'll do a very quick overview of the quest before we get to the armor itself. We'll look at the stats and info, and then I'll give my thoughts at the end. Anyway, there's an awful lot to unpack here, so let's just crack on. So on installing the mod, the quest More Than You Can Chew will be added to your list, asking you to investigate a camp in Solstheim. Now upon reaching the camp, beware there's a reaver camp right next door and they will probably attack you. Anyway, deal with him and you will find the body of a dead Dunmar, with a journal on his body plus some charcoal. Now make sure you grab that charcoal and any more you find on your journey. You will then be asked to meet the Reikling chief on an island further out to sea. Now you've got three options here. You can kill the Reiklings or Reiklings and grab the keys to the chest. You can go on a hunting trip with them and kill a Netch family. Or do as I did and persuade them that eating the leather will kill them. Anyway, whichever you do it, then go and empty the chest and take your time to grab any leather or leather strips and charcoal around the camp. And voila! you have a unique set of painted Netch armour and the book Crafting with Netch Leather. And I love the look of this. Remember, now this is a unique set, so I'd only enchant it, etc. once you've got those skills up to a high level. So I'll be tucking this way till I get 100% enchanting and alchemy plus top crafting gear. Anyway, more about that later. Make sure you read the book Crafting with Netch Leather so you'll be able to make all the variants of this armour and it will also open up another quest where you can get some additional armour and a unique item. So to get these you'll be asked to go back to Skyrim and search Fort Hragstad. Now it's worth noting that before you do the Civil War quest this is populated with bandits. Now I'm not sure how this works if you've done the Civil War storyline so let me know in the comments below if you've actually done that. Anyway, the fort is in the Halfinger Hold overlooking the Sea of Ghosts and it's north of Dragonbridge and very close to the Steedstone. So once you've dealt with the bandits outside, pop into the fort and deal with the ones left inside and once that's done you'll find the chest and you'll have several other uh, Netch armor pieces including quite a cool looking shield plus the unique item the boots of blinding speed which is an artifact from Morrowind now all is not what it seems with these boots so I'll be doing a separate video on these later so make sure you check it out okay so we've read the book and now we have the ability to make all this gear so let's go smithing now to make this stuff you'll need varying amounts of the following leather strips charcoal sticks if you want to make the shadow versions and tanned netch leather the first two are easy found or bought from a variety of traders the netch leather is another massa firstly it can only be had in a solstein and it can only be found from dead Betty and Bull Netches, so you can hunt them down if that's your thing. Or it can be found as loot, and uh, in my experience they don't turn up that often, though granted I've really never been looking for it before, so it may actually be more common than I think. Failing that, it is sold by uh, Glover Mallory in Raven Rock. Fethis Alor in Raven Rock uh, sometimes has it for sale. And if you help the Nords retake Thirsk Mead Hall, then Halborn Iron First sells it once the quest Halborn Surprise has been completed. But 
do notice if you do go down this route you'll um, no longer have the option to have the reclaim followers so uh, choose that carefully so what do you get you're given the painted net charmer which is unique so as I mentioned before I strongly recommend you don't do any crafting on this until your skills and crafting gear are at a decent level but that's up to you uh, you also get various bits on Bob's of armor but more importantly the ability to make this armor yourself and you can craft four variants of this armor Okay, let's look at the stats and we'll start with the normal Netch leather armor set. The armor has an armor rating of 34 and a weight of 6, which isn't bad. The boots have an armor rating of 12 and a weight of 2. The braces have an armor rating of 12 again and a weight of 2. The leather helmet has an armor rating of 17 and a weight of 2, so that's actually not bad at all. Then you have the boiled Netch leather armor set, which only includes a different armor piece and helmet. So you'll wear the normal boots and braces. And this is the same for the shadow variants. Anyway, the boiled armor has an armor rating of 38 and a waist of six. The boiled helmet has an armor rating of 22 and a waist of two. Now, if we come on to the shadowed stuff, um, the shadowed Netch leather armor set, which seems to have a slightly higher, higher armor rating, it's amazing what a bit of charcoal can do. Uh, the armor itself has an armor rating of 35, uh, one higher than the normal, and a weight of six. The boots have an armor rating of 13 and a weight of two. The braces have an armor rating of 13 again and a weight of 2. The leather helmet has an armor rating of 19 and a weight of 2. And next we have the shadowed boiled next leather armor set, which again only includes a different armor piece and helmet. The boiled armor has an armor rating of 39 and a weight of 6. The boiled helmet has an armor rating of 24 and a weight of 2. And finally, we come to the shields. Now, the first up is the Netch Leather Shield with an armor rating of 20 and a weight of 4. Then we have the Shadowed Netch Leather Shield with an armor rating of 21, one higher, and a weight of 4. And then we come to Tower Shields with the Netch Leather Tower Shield has an armor rating of 26 and a weight of 8 and finally the shadowed Netch leather tower shield with an armor rating of 27 and a weight of 8. Okay so what do I think of this mod and this is for those of you that have managed to sit through all that and are still here which I doubt is uh, very many but here goes and please bear in mind this is all subjective and this is just my opinion. First of all Thank God that Creation Club have delivered some light arm after all this time. Seriously, why is it taking so long? But I'm happy to say that I really love this armor. I love the fact that the mod author has delved into Dunmer Law, as the Netch leather armor was, was traditionally an exclusive craft uh, of the Dunmer of Morrowind and Solstheim in particular. They use Netch leather uh, because of Morrowind it was uh, more plentiful than ordinary leather, and the armor itself is designed not only to protect the wearer during combat, but also provide comfort and protection from the elements, which we all know can be pretty harsh and solstheim. Uh, this armour really gives me a Mad Max or Borderlands vibe and is uh, fantastic for rogue type characters, though I'm not really that keen on the charcoal standard Netch Armour's helmet, but you can mix and match this with other sets. But these make a serious alternative for thief or assassin armours. The detailing is great, the stats are very decent and in my opinion this is one of the best armour sets to come out of Creation Club and I will definitely be using this myself for several character types but again that's my opinion. But is it worth the money? Well I'm not going to delve into that again but I hope I've given you enough info to decide if it's worth your hard earned cash or not. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you later.